They're gonna make this thing into a grind fit. Oh, I skipped the area that had. Oh, underground route. See your boy out here finding the secrets. Out here. In dominating the crash. Crashing the crash. Bashing the crash. Alright, so it's your boy. And we're back with another video on the channel. And today, we have got Crash Bandicoot Mobile, baby. And yeah, this is a mobile Crash Bandicoot game. There's really not much else to say. From the images I saw, it basically looks like Crash Temple Run. But before, before we get started, I just want to give you guys my, my history with Crash. I beat Insane Trilogy. I also played the original Crash 1 and 2 before Insane Trilogy came out. I played a bit of Nitro Car when I was a kid, and I played Crash Team Racing, the remake. So yeah, decent amount of history of Crash. I also played Rifle Courses as a kid as well. But yeah, let's let's get into this. Find the Nitro Antron while I look for other dimensional threats. Be careful, big brother. So yeah, this is the part where we basically play. Tap to run. Okay. How do I spin? Oh, it says tap. I was waiting for it to show up at the bottom. It shows up. The, the, okay. It said tap to run. I say tap to spin. So swipe up. And then swipe left. I mean that's pretty predictable. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's, pre it's pretty much crash temple. What's that? Okay. The Aku Aku crate. Aku Aku protect you from running to anime. Okay, yeah, so we got Aku Aku. I keep trying to, like, I keep thinking tap to spin is just wrong. I don't know why. I keep thinking I'm supposed to, like, spin the D pad or some shit. Okay, swipe down. And that destroys the Nitro. Then we hit the checkpoint. Checkpoint? Isn't it an endless runner? Why would there be a checkpoint? You just die and that's it, right? I don't understand why they would put a checkpoint there. So it's basically swiping and tapping. Oh. Wow. I kind of thought it was a ramp and that I was gonna just like fly. I don't know why. It told me before I had to jump over it, but it's cool. I guess that checkpoint came in handy, huh? Maybe it's a checkpoint because it's a tutorial or something. They just put the checkpoint there, knowing that you're gonna fuck up the tutorial, and you're still learning the ropes. Okay, so swipe up. It still feels like a ramp. It doesn't feel like something I should be swiping up on. Alright, give me those Wumpa fruit. What about these mushrooms? Are these like springs? Oh shit! Oh, okay, that's the spring. Defeat Nitro Ant. Okay, you got a boss now. It's gonna be just like bouncing sh projectiles and shit back at him. I'm assuming. It's avoiding them. So we try this again. Oh my god. I was trying to land on top of it, like, you know. You know what I mean? Like, it crashes and say, like, you jump on top of them and then keep. I thought maybe I could land on top of it. I I don't know why I'm trying to play this like it's a proper game. It's a mobile game. It's meant to be temple run. Stop overthinking it, Ram, and just play it like a casual. Okay? Resist the urge. Just tap. Just tap. So this time, we don't try and spin anything back. We just avoid the projectiles. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, shit. It, just, it leaves traces and shit. There's the Nitro Antro. Throw the Nitro Portal Serum. The fuck is that? Oh, I mean, I mean, I missed time that, but it was moving pretty fast. Either way, he's dead. We got ourselves a gem, and the text that's behind the gem, I can't see that. I'm playing it in, in in landscape. It's not supposed to be playing landscape, so it's kind of probably messed up a few things. You got Nitro Andro's power gem. That was showed up to Neo Cortex. Now get to the warp pad and return to our base. So is it levels? Like, is it actually completable levels then? It's not actually an endless runner? There we go, the story. Neocortex is stealing power gems to activate portals so his mutagen henchmen can enslave all the dimensions. Coco discovered Dr. Cortex's plan and it's creating portal weapons so Crash can bash the henchmen back to their own dimensions and save the multiverse. So that's our predictable story. Okay, so we got, we got a world map. So maybe it's not an endless runner. Maybe it's like an endless runner with an end. So a runner? They're trying to make it seem like it's a full game, a full experience. So just a bunch of endless runner sections split into levels, I'm assuming. Ever since Neocortex opened those portals, he's been sending through threats to attack us. He's up to something for sure. I mean, of course, the villain is up to something. I mean, it's pretty expected though, right? Good thing I got the mission computer up and running. Alright. So we tap that. 
We have to defeat the rest of the game before we can take on the boss Scorpo Scorporilla. So they want us to upgrade shit. Let's go to the lab. What the fuck are we doing now? We're making potions. Drag the serum into the sl Okay. It only takes a short time to fill out this portal weapon, but now we've run out of globe up. We need this ingredient to make more natural. We can go to a collection. So I'm assuming we're going to have to grind to get this thing to keep making the potions to progress. But if you spend a little bit of dough, you know, yeah, we'll allow you to do a bit quicker. You know, just, just a little bit, you know, maybe $9.99, like, you know, just, just, a little, just a little bit, you know. Otherwise, you're going to have to grind for like 24 hours, but it, it's cool. I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't even know how money grabbing this thing is. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Okay, so I guess we can run to... Yeah, you can see that I'm not supposed to be playing it in landscape because... Look at that stretch. Oh my god. All right, let's do this. I'm ready. I know how to play the thing. It's easy enough. I'm guessing that's the material. We've collected some globe up, just the ingredient we need. Keep smashing crates to find more. So they're going to make this thing into a grind fit. Oh, I skipped the area that had. Oh, underground route. See your boy out here finding the secrets. Out here. In dominating the crash. Crashing the crash. Bashing the crash. Getting dubs in the crash. Hitting checkpoints in the crash. Getting C's in the C's. God damn. Oh, top of Ooh, stay there. Stay there. Oh, can I? Oh, uh, oh, okay, okay, all good. Can I run up there? Shit, I should have tried that. Okay, there's another spray. So they got multiple parts. It's just it's not as basic as Temple Run in that sense. Like, there's, there's, there's some roots, some parts. I guess the only way they can, the only reason they can do that is because they're set level, so they can add all these intricacies because in an endless one it'll be harder to add certain things i mean temple run 2 had some of that but you know what i mean it's been a while since i played temple run 2 by the way back in like 2013 i had the highest score in temple run 2 for the record i, I dead ass like top of the world although the game lets you revive so being top of the world just means continuously reviving until you get the highest score but i was dedicated in the first year of uni side note time to come back to our base we've got to take the left exit so i'm guessing if i had another gem i could go the additional route well, I don't have that yet, so we'll stop going the regular route. So if I skip it, what happens? Oh no, it just takes me straight there. I'm gonna see if I can cheese the shit. Keep going or some shit, I don't know. They would have thought that through, but you know. Here's what you got. So we collected Wampa Fruit and things I don't recognize. Nitrile Portal Serum is ready. Okay, I'm trying to tap it. Trying to tap it while looking at the monitor instead of the phone. We got the portal serum we need to defeat the natural cab. This one is tough. So it's just like a a weird mix of endless run-up, mix of not endless, mix of maps and mix of collector thoning. I guess, I don't know. Okay, let's get our food. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a little time waster kind of game. Like obviously I expected this amount, like it's I don't think Activision right now have the balls to actually make a new crash title that doesn't rely on the nostalgia of it came out, you know, in the 90s or whatever. Fucking capture card! Stop! I'm in the middle of the... Oh, I have to look at the screen now because you... Oh, for fuck's sake. Now I'm dead. You see, you see it was the capture card's fault. It's All right, let's do this again. Why does it make you tap to run though? Why not just give you like a countdown or some shit? Like, I ain't trying to tap to start the game. That's too much effort for a mobile tile. I'm trying to play this thing chill, you yeah? know? Probably would make more sense to play in portrait, but at the end of the day, like, I guess it looks nice from a video when it's widescreen, so I guess I'll switch it back afterwards. Okay, I spun that in time. Oh, I thought I thought, I thought that spin was gonna finish too quick. Hit the nitro, get that shit out of the way. Okay, slide, jump. Oh, thought I was too early. Okay, shit. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's, it's pretty easy anyway. It's not. It's not a hard game. I don't know when I should stop. I, I, I'm guessing maybe after a, like a proper. Oh, okay, I can still jump over this. Okay, cool. Maybe after a proper boss, I'll stop. Cause I don't think it's gonna get that much more interesting. I guess the most we can expect is a few other environments and some shit, but you know, mobile games they get boring really quickly. Like, I mean, I covered Mario Kart Tour. I mean, that was fun for like one video, but it's not gonna replace like a main Mario Kart game, you know what I mean? Like, so. Okay. We get invisibility if we get more Akus. That would have been sick. Okay. So, this is our boss, Nitro Crabs. So it's probably gonna be the same boss pasted again with another enemy. Dodge the projectiles. And then just hit him, right? Where are the projectiles? Oh, 
Okay, he just got rid of them. Well, he didn't get. He got rid of the nitro with his projector. Okay, those these projectiles cards take two blocks instead of the other guys taking one. Okay, that took one. I don't know. I don't even know. Like this is it's, it's very it's very basic and predictable. Like I, maybe I sh I'm sorry I don't sound more excited, but I play so many of these games. I was I was in the middle. I swear. It's input lag. It's input lag. It's not me. I can time shit. Okay. I'm looking at the monitor and not at the phone. There's there's the this delay the capture card's still fucking up. Okay, we got some shit. We leveled up. And we got what did we get? I'm trying to tap on it to see what it is. I don't know. We got crystals and other shit. Let's make more portal weapons to defeat Squall Pillars gang. Ugh. Grinding. Let me okay, hold on. Before we continue the game, let me skip to the part where they show me where the money is taken. Where's the part where they charge us for shit? Because you know that you know that shit is somewhere. Is it this button? No, is it that? Is it that? On the top left? What if you click directly on the crystals? Come on, it's somewhere. Just show me the part where you charge me real money so I know how money grabbing it is. I give up. You will tell me later. Okay, here we go. You can buy now for three crystals. Okay, buy. But I still have 12 left. I can't get more on, 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 until... I don't believe they're that genuine. No, no. There, there's money. I, I can't, to be fair, it's a soft launch game. It's not even in the Play Store yet. I had to find the APK of some fucking website. Maybe they just haven't added it yet because it's soft launch. Just testing out the game, making sure it works. Maybe they don't want to get sued if they charge for shit and the game doesn't work properly. Maybe that's it. Once all the kinks are ironed out, then they'll be taking the dough. Maybe right now it's still new. That, that, that's all I can believe right now. There's no way, there's no easy way to spend money on this game. You know that it's a phone game, and that's all they fucking do. Let's battle. You need more weapons before you can take on the Nitro Ant Drone. Okay. All this collector shit is long. I just want to play. They should have just made a fucking temper on and called it a day. I'm trying all this, all this shit. I just want to play a level. Alright, we're playing a level again. Good. Complicating simple shit. All this collecting random, like, you know, I'm just trying to play. They should have made it endless now, because then I would have had incentive to at least get a high score, you know. But now I'm just going to be like, oh, bottom root, shit. I like this environment, though. Yeah, if they made it endless, I would have had incentive to, like, get a high score and, like, keep playing it for at least a little bit. But now we've set levels. Like, once I beat them, then that's it. Ooh, go down. I thought that was a hidden route, like the other ones. I didn't know it was a pit. Like, can you blame me? Like, I was going, like, up and then down all around. Like, can't, like, encourage me to go down when I go down show me a huge, cool bottom path and then put, like, a pit there and make me not think that it's another cool path. Like, come on. Like, come on, Activision, or whoever developed this. He was commissioned by Activision. Like, come on, I mean, your, boy, your, your boy is not impressed. You see, like, this is cool. And then you do another one, I'm thinking, oh, that's another, like, cool area. It's just a pit. It's, it's a pit. Yeah, it's death. I'll, I'll, you know, like, come on. Fine. It's a, it's a pit. I'll, 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 I've learned my lesson now. Grab Arku. All right. So I can't even flex my skills in this game because there's a limit. You know, like, beat the level. That's it. You know, I, you can't really time attack it because it's an endless run now. So it's not like insane trilogy where I can at least improve my time. You see, that's not a pit, that's an area! That's an area! But before, if I had gone down there, it would have killed me. So after going down there, I would have seen that and gone, oh, maybe I shouldn't go there, maybe it's another pit. But it's not a pit, it's an e Come on. Come on. What, what, what about that? No, see, that that's a pit. That's a pit. See, I've learned my lesson now. You know, I have to, I have to stare at the pit profusely to make sure that it's not a secret area and it's in fact just a death zone. For fuck's sake, making me tear up right now. It's not really the game making me tear up, I just got eye problems, but you know, still. Should've just made a fucking endless run. Always trying to complicate the formula, it's a mobile game. Mobile games are supposed to be simple and money grabbing, that's all we expect from them. That's it, simple money grabbing and runs at a decent frame rate even on an 8 year old phone because you know, a person with an 8-year-old phone still has money, right? To an extent, I mean, why you got an 8-year-old phone, but you know what I mean. Oh shit, I lost Arku. Whoops. Okay, the bosses are getting a bit more involving, I guess. More projectiles to dodge. I guess this is... Ah, oh, okay. 
This is the last thing I'm doing. After this, I'm done. I wonder if there's RNG on the projectiles or they always follow the same path. Okay, I'm gonna look at my phone this time. There's a delay! I swear, like, when you touch it, it doesn't instantly go where you touch. It, like, waits. We unlocked some shit. What's the saying now? Whoa, you don't have enough parts. Would you like to buy the missing parts now? I want to see what happens when I run out of crystals. Okay, let's just keep wasting all our ingredients. Three, okay. We're going to run out soon. We'll find out. Okay, we're out now. So now let's see what it says. It just doesn't let you do anything. It doesn't say spend real money. It must, it's a soft launch thing. It's a, it's a soft launch thing. I, I'm, there's no way that those crystals cannot be bought with, with, with real money. It's just, it's a new game. Th th that's it. I, I, I'm done. Like, I wanted to see the other environments, but I cannot be fucked, to be honest. Like, I expected a basic Temple Run clone, and they've added all these other things, which you'd think is a good thing, but in reality, they should have just made a fucking Temple Run clone. And then you just unlock other characters and that's it, you know? Like, why do you have to, like, complicate shit, you know? I don't want fixed levels. Just make it endless. Let me see how long I can go. Done. You know, it's a mobile game. You're trying so hard to make the mobile game complicated, but the complications just make it... complicated. Got me feeling like I'm listening to Avril Lavigne in this bitch, like... My references are getting old now. Some of you probably don't even know who she is, but... If you want to go through the hoops to try out, I guess you can. But don't expect much, you know, you're better off playing an insane trilogy or watching me play it. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. More content coming soon to the channel. But yeah, man, it's your boy, Rem, Remulus, Rem Gang. 2.4k subs, we're moving out here. I'm out!